Hey everybody, how are you doing today? And you can see I've got some fires going. So I've got two torches here that are running. And I'm going to shut these off so I can focus on what I'm doing. But they're both running on propane, as you can see. The one on the left is ideally suited for butane fuel. The one on the right is suited for propane fuel. This thing on the right is my uh, mitigation technique in case the fire gets out of control. So, burns o -Matic makes a propane torch and Flying King makes these very small and wonderfully um, made propane tanks. So 50 grams of propane, just the right size for a torch, just the right application. But over here, I added a propane to Lindel valve converter and then on top of that a lindel valve to the bayonet type of connection that is normally required for butane containers here as you can see this is the type of bayonet type connector so i'm able to run this off of butane or off of propane obviously it's made for butane so that's just to show you there's an example or method that is, uh, gives you the capability to go through and run off of propane. It's a similar fuel, of course, over here, as this thing warms up, there's a little um, component in there, as you can see, a little piece of copper tubing, and that routes the fuel through there so that after a few minutes of use, you can turn this upside down with butane. Uh, propane, that's a different situation. Liquid feeding that may not be the best choice. So over here, this is more suited for just that situation where you can flip it upside down, right side up, and I haven't had any surging of the fuel when that's done here. This will surge uh, with propane, not so much with butane after it's warmed up. So that's uh, just a quick demonstration. Uh, I really like this one the most because it's uh, very professionally set up got an on off switch that you can flip on and off you have over here the ability to turn it up or down I have it you know far down right now so it's not so high and then right here is a little lock button so if you push and hold and lock you can let go of this or you can unlock it so that's to keep it always on and then over here you have a lock button that prevents accidental discharge so call that a safety. Uh, of course, when not in use, these are disconnected from their fuel sources because I do not trust that this will hold back the fuel while I'm not around. Also, up close, this little button right here, I put some Prussian brew blue uh, bluing compound on there. So it's normally a silvery color. It contains steel. So what I did is I blued that steel so that it does not rust at a later date. Same with that uh, bolt right there at the top, the Allen bolt or Allen screw, uh, same type of thing. I just added some bluing compound so it does not rust, or at least is protected from corrosion. It could rust, but it's less likely to do so with the bluing compound on there. Uh, over here, you know, there's not much to this. This one here is turn on the fuel and strike it. And then when you let go, it will continue to run. Uh, this. I feel is less safe because there's not a uh, way to fail safe where if you let go of it that the uh, fuel would stop to run over here. That's the case, but over here it's not. Of course, these are easy to find. They're about $3 a piece. Butane. I can fill up my large 9 kilogram. That would be like a 20 kilogram, uh, sorry, 20 pound uh, propane bottle with uh, fuel for not very much, so the propane in here obviously cost far less than what you would um, have in here. Uh, the only reason why butane is more expensive is because of the container. Uh, I do not know of any place in North America or so far where I've been able to go find a filling station where I can fill up butane. So this is why I have the propane containers. Obviously butane would be a little bit more ideal since it's uh, got a lower pressure its vapor pressure is much lower than propane. I trust to have this more in my home than I would the propane. 
thus the reason why I have such small containers. If there was a fuel leakage, I'm not looking at a considerable amount of fuel. In fact, in here, 50 grams versus the 250 grams of fuel, uh, less risk with that. All right, thanks a lot. Post any comments if you have questions. Take care and be safe.